The health director who approved the release of President Obama's long-form birth certificate, which some claim was a fraudulent document, has died in a plane crash in Hawaii, it was announced today. Loretta Fuddy died after the Cessna Grand Caravan aircraft she was travelling on went down shortly after leaving Kalopapa Airport at around 3.15pm local time on Wednesday, reports MSNBC. The other eight people on board were rescued. Richard Schumann, president of Makani Kai Air, told NBC News early Thursday, adding that there was no indication as to why the plane had crashed. You may recall two years ago, at the height of the Bertha controversy, when even Donald Trump was asking questions, Fuddy approved the waiver request allowing Barack Obama to release his long-form birth certificate signed by the delivery doctor and Obama's mother and proving once and for all that, yes, Obama was born in the United States, silencing the birthers for good. Except... When the birth certificate was actually analysed, it showed multiple clear signs of having been forged. When studied in Adobe Illustrator, the document was found not to be a simple photocopy of a 1961 document, but a modern example of layering, with different sections apparently having been pasted over portions of the document and amended. Even mainstream publications like the National Review and Wired reported that the birth certificate appeared to have been doctored. A number of other errors were also found which suggested that the document was faked, such as the question of why Obama's birth certificate number is higher than that of people born after him at the same hospital. Remember that this long-form document was released not long after Hawaii Governor Neil Abercrombie admitted to a veteran news reporter his shock at his failure to discover Obama's birth certificate after using his power to search hospital records. So was this plane crash shortly after takeoff involving Loretta Fuddy, the woman who approved the release of the suspicious long-form document, just a tragic accident, or was it a case of dead birth certificate forgers tell no tales? Did she have knowledge that the release of the birth certificate was nothing more than a staged PR stunt? Given the fact that everyone else but her survived the plane crash, I think it's probably erroneous to claim a conspiracy, but let me know what you think in the comments below. This is Paul Joseph Watson reporting for InfoWars.com.